In part A, we must determine how much negative charge is on each oxygen of the carbonate ion. And in order to do this, what we can do is select one of the three oxygens. It doesn't matter which one because they are all chemically equivalent. So let's, let's select the oxygen in the lower left corner of each of the three resonance structures. We'll highlight those oxygens. And then to get the charge on that oxygen, what we will do is take the sum of the charges throughout the three resonance structures and then divide that by three. So in essence, what you're doing is calculating the average charge across all three structures on that oxygen atom. So for example, in the first structure, you ask yourself, what is the charge on that oxygen? And you can see by this minus sign right here that it's equal to negative one. Then in the middle structure, there is no sign indicated, so we can assume that that oxygen is neutral. And then finally, in the third structure, we have another negative charge. And then we're going to divide this by three. So if you add the quantities in the parentheses, you're going to get negative two, and then this is divided by three, and that would be the answer. So that oxygen that we highlighted has an average charge of negative two thirds, and the other oxygens do as well. You might want to confirm that for yourself by performing the same calculation on each of the other two oxygens. And of course, we can also pr express this in decimal form. This is negative 0.67. So either one of these would be the correct answer. We can move on to calculating the bond order of each oxygen. We're going to be looking at the same oxygen, the lower left oxygen. But in this case, what we're going to be summing is the bonds on that oxygen and then dividing that by three. So for example, in the first structure, we see there is one bond connected to that oxygen. In the middle structure, there are two. And then in the final structure, there is one bond. So we're going to add those together. The first structure had one bond, the middle structure had two, the final structure also had one bond, and then divide that by three. And if you add the values inside the parentheses, you get four, and then it's divided by three. So that would be the correct answer for the bond order. In essence, it's the average number of bonds connected to that oxygen. And then if you need this in decimal form, you can pick up a calculator and divide four by three, and you would get approximately 1.33. So that is an equivalent answer.